R programming hypothesis testing for two dependent groups. If the two groups are dependent and we want to compare means for both groups, we can use pet sample t test. Pet sample is useful in determining the effectiveness of performance before and after the event. The groups are considered as dependent if the readings are come from the same source. For example, if you want to see is there any difference or not before and after the treatment. Um, before or uh, performance before and after uh, certain medication being given. So refer to this example, a pharmacist would like to test whether a new medication can help in reducing cholesterol level in blood. 10 patients with high cholesterol level were randomly selected and their cholesterol level were recorded before and after the medication as follows. So we have these two vectors before and after. So we want to see the effectiveness of the new medication um, and then the reading is the cholesterol level in blood. Okay. So we copy first this data and then paste to R okay and then run okay so let's say we want to test at 5% level of significance whether the new medication is effective so the hypothesis statement for pet sample t-test the null hypothesis mu d equal to 0 so meaning that there is no uh, changes versus the alternative hypothesis mu d greater than 0 so in this case before minus after supposed to get a positive value on the average if the medication is effective ok before the cholesterol level is high we expect that if the medication is uh, effective it can lower the cholesterol level so before minus after supposed to get a positive value so therefore the area of rejection is on the right hand side so for the test statistic ok first we compute the difference before and after ok so we just copy this one Okay, so this is the output okay, of the difference. Okay, then after that, we can compute the test value by using this formula. Okay, d bar minus mu d divided by the standard deviation over square root number of different. Okay, so uh, this is the formula. Mu D is equal to 0 because we assume that there is no difference. Okay, so you can copy this one. Okay, and then the T cal, okay, you get equal to 2.9277. Oh, sorry. And then after that, we find the critical value. Okay, as I mentioned, since the area of rejection is on the right hand side so the probability value is 1 minus the probability value from the t distribution so we find this one first okay and then with the degree of freedom the number of difference minus 1 run okay so we get the P value equal to 0 0.00840992. Okay, and then after that, okay, we make a decision and conclusion based on the p value that we obtain here. Okay, if the p value less than alpha, then reject the null hypothesis, conclude that the new medication is effective. And we can also use the t test. Uh, built-in function okay to get the same result okay as manual okay we can copy this one okay, but we just add this one pad equal to true copy 
this t test so the data before after and then we give a command pad so that we will run the pad sample t test alternative equal to greater okay and then run then you will get the same value as compute in manual okay t equal to 2.9277 Okay, same as this one and then the p value equal to 0 0.00841 similar as this one and then if you want to determine the confidence interval of the mean difference for pet sample t test you can use this one right click copy instead of alternative greater then you can change into two sided run so you will get the upper and lower limit sorry the lower and the upper limit and then if you want to compute manually using the formula ok So you can use this one, okay? D bar minus, and uh, this is the lower limit. D bar minus, uh, this is the critical value multiplied by the standard deviation, and then divide by the square root of n number of difference, and then the upper limit. Uh, D bar plus the critical value multiplied by actually this is the standard error. So we use the vectors to obtain the lower and the upper limit manually ok so you will still get the same result as using the built in function this one the built in function the confidence interval ok suppose to have the same answer as you compute manually thank you for watching